Hello YouTube, this is Tim, Canadian Comic Hunter. I'm back again with another comic call. Um, yeah, so um, this comic call is going to have like a bunch of stuff in it. And if you wait to the end, I'm going to show you a grail book I picked up. And uh, it should be pretty cool. So pretty excited. Um, anyways, uh, to start it off, uh, <laughs> my big purchase of the week, I guess, was this uh, portal gun from Rick and Morty. At Spirit Halloween store uh, definitely very cool item just wanted to show it off yeah it's pretty cool anyways we'll get to the comics the my first batch of comics are all the new comics that were out this week <laughs> anyways so uh, my first set of comics is uh, like I said it's a lot of the new comics I, I didn't pick up a lot I uh, just picked up ones that I thought were kind of cool um, yeah, so if you zoom in on this one, this one is Batgirl and the Birds of Prey 15. Um, I really like this artist, I don't know who it is, it's a uh, Japanese or Asian artist um, that does these. Um, very, very cool, uh, very cool covers. Uh, don't know, don't know the name of the artist, anyways, but uh, it's always the B covers that I pick up from Batgirls, uh, Batgirl and the Bro Birds of Prey. So. It's number 15, really nice Wonder Woman, yellows pop on that. Got my monthly art germ cover uh, that I've been collecting since uh, he took over doing all the B covers on Supergirl. So that's Supergirl 14, got two copies of that. Really like art germ, so. The Amazing Spider-Man <laughs> homage cover. It's the new uh, the new Deadpool. I don't really like. I said I don't really like these lenticular covers. I'm not going to try to make it the view, but I do really like old school comic covers. So this is where it puts me at this kind of like, just kind of pulls me, you know, because I don't really want to support Marvel when they're doing these kind of gimmicky things. But at the same time, as I really like the <laughs> old covers, so. I usually kind of cave and I pick up the ones that I think are pretty cool. So this is the Deadpool comic. I don't even know which one it is. So, And the next one was Gotham City Garage. Uh, there's a B cover. It's probably with Wonder Woman on it. This one had Harley on it. So I took the Harley because uh, I, I really like Harley Quinn. So, And I like uh, motorcycles. So this was right up my alley. I really enjoy <laughs> I think I'm going to really like this series. And next month, they have a Jenny Fra uh, Faison cover again. So if anybody wants to pick that up, I would definitely pick up the B cover for next week. Or next month. Before I start with the next set of books, I just want to give a shout out to Gomez the Comic Collector. Congrats, bro. You got like 180. That's pretty, that's 20 off from 200. So, you know, that's just really awesome. Really enjoy your channel. Really enjoy that fact that you give so many props and so much shout outs to so many people. Um, and your energy, man. You just have really good energy when it, you do your videos. Um, also, I just wanted to uh, tell everyone if they could sub up to, there's a new uh, YouTuber that I've been checking out. Pretty good hauls, pretty good stuff. Comic Holic 86. Not the Comicolics, but Comicolic86. Maybe he did steal your name, Comicolics. You should look into that. Anyways, besides from that, besides from all that, just, yeah, check out Comicolic86. Very cool. Hauls that he's coming out with. Uh, he's got like only 16 or 17, you know, subs. So just uh, try to check him out. It'd be kind of cool. Anyways, so get go on with these books. So this is Rick Remender's Low. This came out way before Seven to Eternity. Uh, really enjoyed this series. Um, I found a number one for a dollar, so I picked it up. <laughs> it's pretty good. So Rick Remender's Low. If you want to check that out, definitely. If you can find it for cheap, pick it up. Catwoman 18. Um, I really love this cover. I, it's one of those 90s books that I, I always remembered when I was a kid. Anyways, uh, she's got the wedding dress on. She's getting married. This is just a cool book to have. Uh, if you like the Catwoman run, this was the very violent Catwoman that 
I think Michelle Pfeiffer's character is based off of, anyways, or they based uh, they based this Catwoman off of Michelle Pfeiffer. But a very cool, uh, very cool Catwoman cover. Anyways, uh, like the wedding dress and the, think of them, yeah, the the gun. It's very good. <laughs> Ghost Rider seventy six. These Ghost Riders are a bit harder to find because of the higher number of Ghost Riders. This is the Death of Vengeance. Michael can't remember pronounce his Bellini or something. Uh, last name so uh, Ghost Rider 76 Death of Vengeance pretty cool cover uh, again 90 96 I think this came out or 97 it was 96 yeah Ghost Rider 73 Savage by Snow uh, this is the first appearance of uh, what are they called uh, the Servants of Hell or something there's it's a group that Ghost Rider fights just another first appearance comic to look out for if you can get it for cheap uh, like I said a lot of these books had low print runs because of the fact uh, they were higher numbers the highest numbers go up to 93 94 those are the books you want to look out for if you can find them uh, this is another Ghost Rider 69 really awesome cover really like the Dan Ketch Ghost Rider so started to try to find these these were almost impossible to find I got them all for a dollar uh, at, uh, com at, a, at my local LCS this week uh, in the comic uh, dollar bins which was kind of cool and Ghost Rider 71 also picked up this Ali Baggett is Alley Cat number one from Image Comics this is the lingerie um, variant, anyways, for this. Just thought it was kind of cool. I don't know the artist who does this. Just a really nice cover, really dark, very uh, kind of like heavy metal-ish kind of uh, look. <laughs> 90s comic. Again, it was only a dollar. I think Game showed off a of Superman Adventures, so I went out and looked for Superman Adventures, and I found number two, because I have a lot of this run, and I'm just collecting them as I go. Really love Superman Adventures. Uh, I don't have number five. That's the hot book to have. That's the first appearance of Livewire. This is just a really cool cover. And then I found the Speed Force, number one. And there's actually a first appearance of a villain called Blue Cobalt in this uh, issue. So if you want to pick this up ever, Blue Cobalt. You never know what they do with that Flash TV show. They always add all these people in. That are very obscene characters. Maybe the, the next villain could be black, uh, Blue Cobalt. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but Speed Force number one. Just a really cool. Love these cartoon covers. Um, really, really fun, nostalgic book. Grayson, Monster Month variant. Happy Halloween, people. Anyways, this is from the Monster Month variants. This is number 13 of Grayson. The only reason I picked this up, this is a Jenny Flazen cover. Anyways, really cool. I guess Grayson's... Uh, you know, the creature from Blue Lag uh, the, the Blue Lagoon. And I don't know who this is supposed to be, but I don't read Grayson. I just know this was a Jenny Friesen. I looked for it. I found it for a dollar. I picked it up. The last one from Jenny Friesen for this week that I could find was Ghost. Really love this cover. Really, really, really love this cover. Pretty cool. So my last set of books before I show you my grail, I just want to give another shout out to Little Doom. Yeah, that's right. Little Doom, the Doom 143 son. Welcome him to the comic book community also. He's been coming out with some pretty cool hauls also. Check his channel out, Little Doom. I'm going to have in this description below all these people and all these different kind of like links so you guys can check out all the people that I mentioned for shout outs, okay? All right. So the next book that I have is Fantastic Four. 558 and this is the mark miller run from fantastic four which was a really good run so i hope you guys check this out this is actually another first appearance not the starting with the issue of the death of, of the invisible woman this first introduced uh character old man logan so the first old man logan is in this issue which i thought was kind of cool so i picked one up online and i picked one up on my lcs so i'll, I'll be getting another one in later on so first appearance of Old Man Logan. Pretty cool comic to have. It was pretty cheap too. So if you can find it, definitely pick it up. 
I got these for, well, these, the, got these two comics for $3 each, which was kind of cool. Marvel One Point. This is the first appearance of Sam Alexander. Nova's been heating up lately. Uh, they're specking on uh, him entering the uh, MCU. So it wouldn't hurt to either pick up this or the original Nova number one, Richard Ryder. I totally picked that book up. It's totally under respect. It's totally underrated. Um, I have a copy of the original Nova, so I didn't have a copy of the newer Nova, Sam Alexander. So I picked these up to, uh, this week. I uh, found like uh, 12 copies, but I wasn't going to buy 12 copies. I just bought two, found two nice ones. Uh, they were selling them at uh, another LCS that I sometimes go to uh, that buys multiple copies of stuff because people buy variants. And there's a variant for this one, that's why, because there's, I um, can't remember the uh, artist that does it. Uh, off the top of the head no it's not there yeah Arthur Adams Arthur Adams does a, a variant for this so if you can find the Arthur Adams variant that's probably worth more than this ten times <laughs> all right so Sam Alexander <clears throat> first full appearance of Riri Williams got it for cover price uh, invincible <clears throat> Iron Man number nine uh, Riri Probably not one of the most liked uh, newer characters in the uh, MCU comic book world, but <clears throat> you know, it's still a still a pretty good uh, book to have. Sorry for the coughing. Anyways, I'm getting over a bit of a cold. So the next spec book that I have is uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 375. Uh, this is the first appearance of Anne Wang. Anyways, um, that's basically Venom's girlfriend. So I got a newsstand, um, yeah, I got a newsstand variant, which was pretty important. That's what I was looking for online. If this book goes up because the character does get popular in the Venom movie, I guess the newsstand variant will be the one to have, uh, similar to uh, the Venom number one that just came out. So that's the only reason I kind of specced on the newsstand for the 375 was because the Venom one went up uh, right away because of the fact that it was a newsstand. Uh, this is the first appearance of the character. Uh, this is not, um, you know, the the cover uh, the cover appearance, but the first appearance of the character without the Ven uh, the Venom symbiote. So, definitely a book to have. Uh, there was a lot of these printed, so try to find a new stand. That's all I can say. Totally awesome Hulk twenty two. This book blew up, blew up. Uh, this is not my third copy of this, but this is the second printing. I didn't have a second printing, so I went out and looked for this. Definitely a really cool book to have. Uh, I'm not sure why they're so high. Uh, you can still find them in different LCSs. Uh, people don't. Uh, people do carry it. I was finding copies of the original printing um, up until a couple weeks ago at most of the stores in Montreal. So there, there are still copies out there if you want to buy them. Uh, I would not pay the, the, the prices that are on eBay. It's really astronomical right now. But if you're a flipper, you might as well try to sell those. Anyways, so, um, yeah. Uh, Weapons of Mutant Destruction, the conclusion, plus the totally awesome Hulk number 22, second printing. This is a really cool John Tyler Christopher cover. I just really, really got into John Tyler Christopher recently. I found out that he did all the um, action figure variants and all that. He's a phenomenal cover artist when he does stuff that's not action figure based. Even the, the action figure ones are really awesome too. I'm not going to take anything away from them. But his art is fantastic. So I went out online and um, this book cost me a buck, which is fine. I don't know if there's any special significance, but I just really like the eye work. Just really like how he drew it. Uh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful Hulk cover. And he's done quite a few of the Hulk, uh, the new Hulk run. Um, uh, anyways, to, to s the reason why I've, I've been looking for his stuff is because I picked up this recently online. Spider Gwen number one. It's a variant by Hastings. And it's a John Tyler Christopher cover. It's a connection cover. The silk, I couldn't find. It's, it's really expensive. This one was affordable. It was around 25 US. Really love this cover. Really, really like enjoy this. So really happy about this. Anyways, John, uh, John Tyler Christopher, definitely check them out. These are beautiful. These, uh, like I said, it's got this Adam Hughes, Adam Hughes feel for most of his work. 
He's, uh, he's very uh, realistic. Um, I, I'm sure he's using more of a computer animation style, but still uh, really realistic when it comes to drawing and having all the, uh, like I said, the shades and the, the reflection on the characters. It's really beautiful, really, really beautiful, nice covers. You know, Peter Parker in the background, you got Gwen on the front, of course. All right. All right, so this is my uh, my my Grail book. Uh, came into a bit of money recently, so I wanted to splurge a bit of it instead of just paying for car stuff. Um, so you know, I, I invested in a comic book, which is what I usually do. Uh, I have another comic I'm going to show another day, one day when I decide to do a different kind of haul, but. This was a grail book I've been wanting for a very long time. I have two copies of this already, but in a different language. Uh, most people from the back of it's gonna know what this is. I gotta thank the Comicholics because the, the, I had totally forgot this book existed for a bit. It just slipped my mind because I've been looking for mostly Silver Age. And then they went out and they got a grail book. And then I was like, I'm gonna try to find the next one to that grail book. So yeah, so I gotta thank them because uh, I wouldn't have been searching for this. I got this for a pretty good price. I'm going to say the price. I know I'm not really down with saying totally about like how much you spend on really expensive books, but I just want to know if this, you think, if people think I got a good deal or I overpaid for this, okay? With the grade and with the, th with the, um, with the, uh, it being uh, graded and the book itself, right? So, uh, anyway, so I'll stop talking and rambling on. Just really happy to have this. Uh, yeah, so, uh, this is a book I've been trying to buy since I started collecting comics too, uh, back, uh, about two and a half years ago. So yeah, uh, they had a copy at my LCS. They were selling for about $300. Uh, it was in really rough shape. I didn't want to buy it. I, I, it was maybe a two or three grade. So anyways, without further ado like to introduce to you a 7.5 on the Batman Adventures number 12 the only Batman Adventures I did not have in the set left so I finally got a copy that's English not in Spanish because I have two Spanish copies that are in worse condition than this um, the, this is a 7.5 um, I got this for $300 US uh, I just want to know if that's that's a good price for this book uh, I've been looking online I can never tell with eBay because eBay prices are just so astronomically high and um, I don't see this book at a lot of cons that are in Montreal they, people don't really go and sell this book or if they're selling it they're selling like they're selling it for like eight or nine hundred dollars it's totally like um, inflated and not a I know it's I think this is a pretty good book to own uh, for long term there was a low a lower print run on these Batman adventures uh, than some of the comics around the 90s so it's definitely a book that's obtainable there's tons of like really high grades out there this was a grade I could afford at three hundred dollars I thought it was, a, it was a it was a pretty good deal and I, I, I bid on it and actually won it in an auction so it wasn't one of these buy it now and then try to steal it away from somebody kind of thing so uh, yeah so this is uh, Batman adventures number 12 7.5 uh it's the grail i can't really say much about it i've stared at it so many times i'm just really psyched to own this book um yeah and i wouldn't have probably started collecting cgc books if i hadn't uh been on the community haven't checked out uh, seeking near uh, seeking near mint uh most of his videos uh he was a really big influence uh on me to buy cgc books because uh yeah, just because I would watch his videos and he's always had so many great CGC uh, CGC books, uh, variants and different things like that. So I want to give a shout out. Thanks again. Uh, the YouTube community is great. It makes you want to collect. makes you want to basically uh, own things that, uh, you know, they mean a lot if you're, if you're into the art or if you're into different things. And like I said, in this time that we live in, it's pretty crap man what goes on in the world so these things these uh these fantasies these these worlds you can just dive into uh make it a little bit easier every day you know so anyways uh peace and i hope everybody has a good week trying to uh, going out hunting and i'll have another video next week with some other cool uh finds okay ciao man